Greetings, beloved light warriors. It's Saratoga, and this is your weekly focus card reading for the week beginning December 28th, 2020 through January 3rd, 2021. And if you are new to my channel, you should know that this is something I do every Sunday so we can reset our energy and our focus for the coming week ahead. And then on Tuesdays and Fridays, I do my regular on-camera videos. Okay, you guys, so let's get into this amazing week in front of us. This is a week of a powerful transition out of 2020 into the new year of 2021. We also have a full moon on, well, it's on Tuesday, December 29th, or it moves into Wednesday, December 30th. It really depends on where you are in the world. But I think it's significant that this full moon occurs at the end of 2020 because full moons are generally uh, very powerful for clearing energy. So it's a perfect timing to clear out the energy of this pretty horrific year of 2020, right? Okay, so let's take a look at this card. The card says success. And this is a really interesting card because it's actually kind of a dark image. It's very, I hope you can see it okay in this video. But let's talk about the image and um, what the message is uh, from this card. What we have here is we have a jungle. And at the very front of that jungle, as you can see, there is a kind of menacing looking black cat. And off in the distance, we see the light of the sun on the horizon. So what this really um, represents in this particular reading is that that light at the end of the horizon is indicating to us that we can see, it's like we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. We still have a lot to go through. And you know, if you can think about a trek through the jungle and you can see in this card that there's so much going on here. There's just a lot of growth of trees and things and just, I mean, you can imagine trying to navigate through that terrain is probably not the easiest thing in the world. So that's sort of like saying we've been going through a difficult, a very difficult period of trying to navigate through what's happening in our current reality and we still have a ways more to go. We're not quite there yet. However, we can see that light that destination that is emerging in the future, we can now see that light in front of us. And the word success on this card is very significant because it's really saying if you keep your focus and you keep moving towards that light, you will achieve success. We will ultimately achieve the success of our own planetary ascension. So um, let's, um, let's just look at the, this whole scene here in a very interesting way. Um, now, when I look at this black cat in the foreground, the same thing keeps coming to mind for me. This cat, for this particular reading, just for this reading, this cat represents to me the media, the controllers trying to hold our focus. Because when you look at this card, the first place your eye goes to is that cat. And that cat has kind of a menacing look. It's a dark black cat. So this is nothing against cats, you guys. I love cats, okay? This is just symbolic. It's pure symbolism. So just for this one reading, this cat very strongly to me represents how the media is going to try and hold our attention to hold us back. Because you see, the cat is not looking forward toward the light. The cat is looking backwards in the opposite direction. And it looks like, don't cross my path. Don't you go forward. You stay right here. You keep your eyes on me because I am a threat and you need to pay attention to me. Because see, the media always tries to get to us using fear because they know, the controllers know that if they can keep us in tremendous fear anxiety and apprehension, they're going to hold our attention. So the cat is representative of that. That cat has that menacing look like it's a threat and you better keep your eye on that threat so that you don't put yourself in danger so that you stay right where you are. Do not try to cross the path of that animal. 
So that's the first part of the message. So we, we know that that is in our view. We know that we're still dealing with that. But what we need to do is, it takes a con, if you just glance at this card, this is fascinating, the artwork here, because if you just glance at the card, your eye goes right to the cat and you have to consciously move your focus to focus on the light in the distance. And that is so perfect, you guys, because this is exactly what we need to be doing right now as we get ready to move into the new year of 2021. We need to consciously make an effort to focus on the light. Because what if we don't, we're, our attention is gonna be drawn right back to all the fear-based messages that are being projected at us. And then we'll be looking forward through that jungle of stuff that we have to still navigate through and we could just end up feeling really discouraged so the message is very very clear to me if you want success you need to focus on the light you need to focus on the highest destination the highest timeline and the other thing that catches my attention in this image is in the top right hand corner you can see what looks like a planet just emerging from the highest point in this card and it's like, to me, that planet represents a new world, a new earth. If you focus on the light, that new earth is going to start emerging. That new earth is going to start to come in and replace this really horrible experience we've had of duality and all the stuff of the controllers and everything we've been going through on this earth. So there's a lot to this card. I know there is I notice there is a bird on the left side of the card, but for some reason I can't really get a feeling that that bird is really prominent for this particular reading. So I'm not gonna really say anything about it at this moment anyway. Now, let me talk to you a little bit about what I've put around here. I have a crystal in the front, which is vanadinite, a beautiful stone. Um, I've had this stone in some of the readings before, but I'll just remind you of some of the things that Vanadite supports. Um, it really supports, supports you when you need to be persistent, you need to have endurance. It is a fire element stone, which means it's transmutational. It helps to transmute um, old stagnant energy in order for your creative energy to flow, um, forward movement, free flow of ideas, we're gonna need all of those resources to navigate through this jungle on a physical level. So vanadinite is a very empowering stone when you really need to access and tap into your creative thinking, your creative energy and move forward and navigate through something that requires persistence, perseverance and focus, which is exactly what we need right now. Um, it's also a great stone for um, taking action. It's a great stone for physical stamina. So it's just a powerfully energizing stone overall. So I think it's really perfect to go with this reading in terms of um, what we need to um, bring into our own experience in order to press forward into this new world that we're getting ready to enter into. I put the flowers here, you guys, because flowers are so optimistic, aren't they? They're just they just are such a high vibrational part of this planet Earth. I think of flowers as a gift. Flowers are a gift from the Earth to us. They're uplifting, they're completely high vibrational, and like I said, flowers just kind of bring an energy of optimism with them. So that optimistic feeling of the flowers um, matches the word success. So these are all elements that we wanna consider this week that we want to bring into our experience and um, so that we can achieve that ascension success which is what we're ultimately aiming for right and of course the candle is the light you know focus on the light so um, that's pretty much it um, the full moon again it's kind of like it's a powerful week you want to think of it as a week of accelerated energy, but also a kind of a pause and a, and a time to prepare. So the accelerated energy is not necessarily on a physical level, it's more on an energetic level. It's kind of like, um, okay, it's time to pause, get centered, focus within, 
focus on the light and let that acceleration of ascension energy come in, or let yourself come into alignment with that accelerated energy by staying focused on that light as you see in this card in the horizon keep your vibration high with optimism keep your vibration um, high with uh, gratitude and happiness and love and whatever else you can bring into your consciousness think of having stamina having focus having perseverance set yourself up with a decision that you will persevere you will not allow what we see in that card of the media and the controllers to distract you anymore because now you have your vision set on the light nothing will deter you nothing will distract you and nothing will just stop your forward movement on your journey of ascension nothing can stop you now success is there to be had all you have to do is just remember to stay focused on that light when you do, you will be inspired about exactly how to navigate through that jungle of all the stuff that's going on in the physical world right now. That light is gonna carry you through. It's gonna carry you through that jungle if you stay focused on it and you persevere. Okay, so that's just an awesome week that we have in front of us, you guys. I'm really excited for um, where we're all going together in this massive ascension journey on our planet. And um, I think that's it for this week. So I'm sending you guys so much love, so much light. Have a beautiful, centering, inspiring, and clarifying week ahead. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Namaste, everyone.